important to us. I'm sure something will go very wrong while we're doing this. It's just a matter of figuring out which 2017 version is the first version that works. Install.exe. Does it work? Ooh, here comes the logo. Look at it. Look at it go. Which one of these is the first one that worked? Install.exe. Uh, oh. Welcome oh. to us. We've done it. All right, guys. Every version of Osu Laser from the earliest that we could get working, which is uh, February 2017, and then the end of each year after, up to today's version, which we've played already, but it is certainly the best Osu Laser has ever felt. So let's compare the worst Osu Lasers ever felt to the best. Assuming this is the worst, maybe it'll be like flawless, but I'm interested to see what's what's been added throughout Osu Laser's development. And also, I never played Osu Laser on these really, really early versions. So like this background, I don't think I've ever seen this before. I do remember the volume wheels though. They're not even volume wheels. I mean, they're just placeholder volume bar. <laughs> Happy New Year, guys, by the way. Happy 2020. This is the first stream in 2020. Cannot believe that. We're going back to 2017. Three years ago now. What am I not going to be able to do? Because th are there even bundled beatmaps? No. Is Osu direct? Uh... <laughs> Wait, wait, can I play beatmaps? <laughs> Let's just drag in some OSKs. But before we do that, we can look at the settings. Oh, look at these FPS limits. Limit 120, VSync, unlimited, completely unlimited, custom? which it doesn't look like you can set. The settings are much more similar to current OSU settings rather than like current OSU laser. I'll just keep everything default, I suppose. The parallax is here. Offset you can't change. All of this is to do. Look at this menu performance though. This is one of the initial releases of OSU laser and it's got a good performance. I've got nothing loaded into it though. So let's, uh, let's change that really quick. I, there are a few maps that we should be like, we'll look at that in every single version and see what it's like. Other than that though, I guess that doesn't really matter as long as the songs aren't kind Copyright. As long as the songs won't trigger content ID. But I'm now trying to drag it in. We got our OSZ. Oh, another thing that I'm really interested to see that I guess we're about to see and we see in the cursor right now is the progression of the Osu Laser default skin. I just can't wait for Osu Direct to be a thing. If I log in, can we have Osu Direct? What the f? I never remember my password. What do you guys think it is? I always ask this question. <laughs> oh, well, uh, it worked, but uh, it crashed. No signing in. Oh, look at this smooth menu. Who's afraid of the big black? <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> I can't change my key bindings. I, I just realized I wasn't even using X and Z because those aren't my normal key binds. I gotta turn back on background down. Also, this isn't the big black background. This is the big black Tycho background. I love the fail. Mods. I can't even... This uses like the current Osu default hit sounds. Oh yeah, the combo in the bottom left. It's like the old font. What are those reverse arrows? It feels like the offset is off. Let, like the input delay is enough of an issue already, but it feels like it's not even timed correctly. It's like the music is playing at a normal speed, but the map is delayed. You can't play the Tycho diff, can you? No, definitely not. I mean, is there? I don't even think there's anything else to look at. The editor isn't here. Multi isn't here. Really, the only thing there is to look at in this initial version of Osu Laser that we can see is the default skin and the way that the default skin looks. Oh, true. Every map in this version is AR9. That's probably why it feels so weird to me. Right, I can't read below AR10. I mean, the performance is still bad and like there's this insane amount of input delay, but I see it's AR9. Okay, here, wait, I, I need to pass a map then. Harumachi. Oops. Oh, wait, look at the pause menu. Pause menu looks good. You're not going to do what I think you're going to do, are ya? Wait, the, the old spinner... <laughs> Oh, the old spinners are just a hit circle that says S on them in the placeholder result screen. Damn, this is so early on. I didn't even realize that it was going to be like this. I mean, it makes sense. This is one of the first ever releases. That's amazing. Can't change skins. Everything is AR9. Can't look at mods. You can already tell that it's like, okay, it's feeling good. Everything's bubbly. Everything bounces. Look at that. Oh, look at that. I don't remember Osu Laser being, I mean, it's real jiggly. It's got, it's nice feedback though, isn't it? Can you even open the chat? You can, but it, there's nothing here. You can't, oh, I crashed, I crashed the game. So the next version that we're gonna look at is the final release of Osu Laser in 2017. Welcome to us. 
I want you guys to see the opening. So this is December 31st, 2017. Wait, did it just auto update? Welcome to I don't want you to auto update, Laser. All right, here it comes, here it comes. I hope the game cap comes up. Welcome to us. Okay, there we go, there we go. December 31st. 2017. Oh, it's got the, the, the menu back. Oh, it's already so much better. Wait, look at this. It's got the cursor. It's actually so... So this is like 10 months after the version we just looked at. When you play them back to back like this, you can already tell this is so much nicer. I mean, you can actually change most of the settings. You can open the mod menu. It's like actually coming along a little bit more. Yeah, so I'm going to log in and see if we can do Osu Direct. We should probably look at the half year versions as well. So like the end of each year, half year, end of each year. So I need to log Log in or see if I can. Connection failed. But yeah, can I open direct? Yes, but it can't connect. We'll be importing some maps ourselves then. I wonder, I forget when the cool like screen scaling settings became a thing. Probably like mid 2019. Snaking, the snaking in and out sliders are a thing. Yeah, you can't change your skin yet. Raw input you can turn on. Key configuration, you can actually change these, thank God. Import beat map. Okay, yeah, you can actually do this now, true. Does this work on this version of Osu Laser? Yes! There's a few maps we should definitely check out. Storyboard maps, 2B maps, stuff like that. Uh, we'll save that. For the end of the version though for now let's just see if things work let's just play a random app oh my god <laughs> this isn't right oh i think raw input breaks it in this version of osu doesn't it oh what are those reverse arrows on the sliders why does this feel like ar50 <laughs> it's definitely not capped to ar9 How do you guys feel about this? Would you guys rather play this or current Osu? I'm pretty torn. It's actually insane how much better Osu Laser is now. I mean, we'll see. We'll literally see. I love the current version of Osu Laser. Oh, the spinners are here, though. No longer placeholder. God. Whoa, wait, when did the ranks look like that? Look at that C rank. Like the weird, the, the background that it has. Laser default skin is miles better than the old default skin. Yeah, this is, the laser default skin has improved so much too. So wait, how playable or not is Big Black? Cut the hit sounds. At least it's actually playable. I think Osu Laser just crashed, guys. <laughs> I think I slider broke too many times. <laughs> wait, can I, uh, oh, wait, no, I didn't. It's back. I uncrashed it. I mean, I failed the map, but cool. Also, for some reason, all of the menu, like all of the details for each map is, it's always infinitely loading, even though it's, it's there. Like it's, we can see it. You're making a JoJo Stardust Crusaders Roblox game. I don't even know, I don't know what any of that means. Storyboards aren't gonna work, videos aren't gonna work. I need something like, I mean, I guess a 2B map. All right, no fail for sure. Let's go. Yeah, you have to hit the sliders really early. Oh God, I'm lagging a bit. As soon as you start the whole combo. This works surprisingly well. We need to test like at least one infinite BPM beat map. This map goes on forever, I always forget. We're 80% in, so I don't want to quit out. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Cool. Wow, look at that B rank. It's got the, these ranks all have those weird backgrounds behind them. This is before you could download and view replays too. Can you play other game modes? Implementation of other game modes. <laughs> Can't fucking play anything other than standard. All right, that's enough of that, that's enough of that. Is Catch the Beat implemented yet? Oh yeah. Oh, this is when he stood on his legs. Weird. And then Osu Mania? Oh, look at Osu Mania. Okay, so what do we need? We want Solace of Oblivion. Let me drag this into laser. There's one. Yeah, this the spinners are very, very big compared to normal. Yeah, wait, these spinners are fat, aren't they? God, you have to tap the sliders so early. Oh, that works better than it did in some other versions of laser. Input delay mixed with a little bit of lag, mixed with the follow points, mixed with the higher approach rate, lower opacity approach circles, mixed with a cursor that feels invisible when it's on top of these circles. All right, do I want to play this whole thing? I don't think so. It actually works. So does Solace of Oblivion work? Wow, December 31st, 2017. Almost exactly two years ago, this version of OC Laser. It works all right. It doesn't crash the game. That's pretty cool. 
I didn't actually, I thought it was definitely gonna crash. I would have played that first version or, and tested this map out on that, but because we can't even select no fail or auto, I would have just failed when it froze if it didn't crash the game. Works pretty decently. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this, guys. This version of Laser is when things started to come along, which I guess was relatively soon after its initial public release. Completely unplayable, but you know, it's coming along. Oh, the editor. The editor is here now in this version. Um, hmm. Shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have opened that. To the point, at the point where I, uh, opened the editor. Uh, the background, I forgot, this is the old editor background, and the parallax is insane. Also, I love how in the editor here it shows great. It's like showing the 100s and 300s and misses. It's, it's, you're just like viewing actual auto gameplay. Can you move? Oh, you can't even move objects in this version. I think that's everything, isn't it, from December 2017? Oh, multis? Oh, multi's not a thing. Can you view the change log? Oh, you can't even view the change log in game at this point. The default skin still has a lot of improvement to be had. The menu backgrounds are the old menu backgrounds. There's not as many settings. You can't import skins. And I guess that's it though. Oh, I shouldn't have opened the editor. Whoa, why is it displaying all of the hit objects at the same time? Wait, what if I hit play? <laughs> it's missing every note. Why is this working like, can I tap them? Oh, gameplay. <laughs> what the is this? This isn't supposed to happen. Nice. That was sick. Good, good. See you next time. So what's the next version that we have to look at? We've looked at two. It's when those mods got implemented. September 2018. Oh, the, the volume wheels are here now. Well, even just the menu performance is actually already so much better. I'm pretty sure you can import skins into this version. Or, well, let's see how far along the skin importing is. Oh god, some of it definitely didn't work. We'll use the default laser skin first. So the skinning menu is here now, which is cool. I remember when that was a thing that got implemented. So this is now after or around the point where I first played Osu Laser. Let's see if I can turn on raw input now for tablet or if it still doesn't work. Oh, it works now. I'm gonna see if I can log in, by the way. I kind of want to confirm if I'm... I, I, it's probably just not gonna let me log in, as usual, on the older clients. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't let you log in. It's so nice! Look, this is already so much better. The menu, the feel, the background, the volume wheels, the editor. Ha you can open file now. The waveform looks better. Oh my god, the parallax is... Why is the parallax so intense? <laughs> oh, you can actually move hit objects now as well. Multi? No access to multis either, right? Multiplayer lounge is a thing, though. Transform and wiggle got implemented here. Whoa, and the default... Oh, this is when the, there's new default skin hit sounds as well in this version. The cursor expand is there. The good greats and all of that are colored correctly. Beatmap skins work. The spinners are smaller. Wow, this is such an improvement. Mid-2018 is like when Osu Laser first started to become more playable. There's still no fail animation. Well, I guess before we see what maps might break it or not in this version, I should uh, check out the skin, shouldn't I? All right, let's just play some random maps. This isn't right. <laughs> Why are the... What is this? No, this is when the scaling was super off. High CS training. Uh, can we... I, I need like a CS0 edit of one of the square jump practice maps. Square jump. Insane. Look at that aim, guys. True skill. Absurd, isn't it? What does this look like on Hard Rock? Damn, I'm insane. <laughs> it's a great confidence booster. Looks like I have hacks. All right, so clearly the skin implementation scaling is off. I do kind of prefer using this over the, the this iteration of the Osu Laser default skin though, but for the sake of the game working correctly, we'll use the Osu Laser default skin and test out the first implementation of Transform and Wiggle. This was the day they were available in Osu Laser. Wiggle is it's about the same as it is now. Actually, it's a bit more buggy. Why does the timing feel so off? I think it's the hit sounds. Also, the current Osu Laser skin, it's not that much different than this, but it is a lot easier to read. 
Yeah, having Wiggle on messes with the reverse arrows on the sliders a lot. Oh yeah, we haven't seen the, the ending splash screen yet. Looks nice enough. Cuts off a bit, doesn't it? Oh, you can import skins from Stable now too. Let's import as many beatmaps as I can from Stable. Wait, how many more versions do we have to look at? End of 2018, mid 2019, current. So three more, including the, the current version. Okay, I'll be right back. We imported a lot of maps. Let's go transform. Didn't they make transform less aggressive? Because this is impossible. This is harder than transform is now. First version of this mod was even worse. Before it got into laser. Oh god, I don't even want to know about that. I love how at the start of each map you can like see a hit object for a moment, like that. For some reason there's like a low opacity hit object. There's no HP drain, right? And only 59%- oh, an F! Right, 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 I forgot F ranks are even a thing in OC Laser. Well, I guess we can check now what a uh, Salsa of Oblivion is like. See if it crashes it or not. Okay, so it didn't crash end of 2017. Does it crash mid-2018? No, actually it works even better. I think it works better than it does now. Does it crash this section here or no? No? Yeah, it works pretty well. You know, for the most part, as well as it can really be. Certainly better than the 2017 version where it just froze up the whole game. What was the other map I wanted to look at? Exarius' 2B map and then Critality's uh, 1 map. You know, the 1. I'm happy to say that uh, of the three versions we've played so far, they've only been getting better. That initial uh, skin importing was pretty rough, though. <laughs> I guess we could check out Big Black with this skin. Oh. Good enough. It doesn't crash the game. This version of Osu Laser, mid-2018, is pretty, it's pretty good. Alright, 2018, September 15th. Which means it is time for the next version, which is the very end of 2018. Might not end up being that different. Welcome to us. All right, so all the settings should be the same. Yeah, December 28th, 2018. After this, we only have two more versions. There are a few more settings, like the score display mode, background blur, which I think was a thing in the previous version. I think the parallax is a bit less, or maybe it's still pretty bad. And the scaling, yeah, the scaling is still not in the game. Can't access OC Direct because we can't log in. The editor is about the same as it was. I assume everything's gonna be the same as it was. But we didn't look at the game modes, actually. Uh, also, you gotta be logged into multi. Yeah, this is pretty much the same version we were just playing. But, I'm, oh, oh, this is the first time, oh, wait a minute. This is the point in Osu Laser where you had to hold down pause for it to pause the game and you couldn't change the amount of time that you need to hold it down like you can now. Horrible, horrible. No new mods or anything Yeah, Like I said, we didn't look at the other game modes in that mid-2018 version, so we'll check those out now. I mean, the other game modes probably don't have that much progress onto them. This is Tycho. Oh, look at this. I didn't realize that the, the blue circles are like a target and the purple circles are like a not target. Quick check of the progression of the game modes before we move into the 20. Oh yeah, the legs aren't there anymore. Yuzu's legs. So there have been some updates to the game modes at this point from, from September, or no, from the end of 2017. I know Mania has like barely changed even now into the end of 2019 version. I don't think Mania is too different. Won't be able to play it, but I'm interested. It's the same as it was in end of 2017 version. Oh, well, there you go. Although, you know what I just noticed? No longer at the bottom of the screen does it always say Osu Laser Development Build, which is a welcome change. And then the other thing that was added was storyboards. We haven't looked at yet, actually. Are they implemented though? Like, do they work? A little, this is the first, one of the, the first implementations of storyboards in Osu Laser. Most of the elements are just missing. I mean, literally, it's just black screen right now. Oh, the background's moving, though. Pretty sure that's everything for that version. May 30th, 2019? That's pretty mid-2019, I'll grab that. Welcome to us. Click 
Still got the not triangles opening. Oh no, no, don't install, cancel. Oh, the scaling of everything is way, way different on this version compared to the late 2018 version. Like this whole menu looks different. The drop shadow behind it looks significantly different. This is like around the time where I was starting to look at Osu Laser more. A little bit nostalgic, kind of. Can you change the time it takes to pause in this version? No, I didn't think so. UI scaling is a thing now, awesome. And the screen scaling is here too. I remember this, wow, this feels like it just got added, but I guess it wasn't, it was added before May. I feel like this just was a thing. Oh my God, I forgot that you could do this. Oh, but it doesn't change real time. Now in Osu Laser, as we'll see on the next version that we play, it changes like as you're changing the settings. Let's see, what maps do you wanna play? I mean, I actually have no idea now what to look at. Grow and wind up and wind down were implemented. We'll check those, we'll check the other game modes, we'll check the default skin. We haven't had any like hard crashes actually in any other versions post like the first couple we looked at, the first two. Can't go into a multi because I have to log in. What about the editor? The editor has made a lot of progress just in these past couple months. This this is essentially no different than the uh, mid 2018 editor. I mean, you can like edit sliders and stuff though. I don't know if you could do that in the previous version. Can't see the map background. And this is still the older uh, Osu backgrounds that I just, I think I just crashed the game. Oh, it's back. These options, too. I forgot that these options are a thing. You can like have these options slide in at the bottom of the screen, remove from unplayed, clear local scores, edit beat map. If you let them go all the way, come from the left, just a little bit, come from the right. Let's just test out normal gameplay. Oh, the, the AR is a lot better. I no longer feel like I have to hit every slider super early. But it does feel like there's more... Input delay. Oh god, I have to hold down pause for like a second. That's f***ing dumb. Thank god they changed that. Well, I guess we could test out skin implementation too, really quick. Okay, so the slider colors are here now. Uh, the skin implementation is definitely further along, but the scaling at this point was still incorrect. Oh, and there's still no fail animation. What? That's too bad. Was it really not until after mid-2019 that the fail animation got added? The amount of uh, progress Osu Laser development has made in just the past like six months has been crazy. Almost more so than it's been like before that. I guess all the base had to be there for things to get more polished and more stuff to get added, but this feels so outdated, even though it's not that long ago. All right, so I guess we'll be using the uh, the default skin. Unless, well, actually, I think Yugen has correct scaling. Oh, the spinners actually look better. There's like a bit of shadowing around the center of it that I don't think was there before. So the skin is actually horrible to read with. I think it's mostly the follow points and the approach circles still being a bit weird. I think we'll stick with the default skin as well as the uh, the skin we've been looking at in all the versions. Let's see if transform changed or how much transform changed. Oh wait, am I on default skin? No, but this is fine. Transform is so much easier to read already than the initial implementation of it. Let's do this. And I'll be right back. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. Get on up, it's Osu time. All right, well, there you go, there's Transform. Wiggle, I don't, I don't think Wiggle is any different. Except the uh, the slider reverse arrows actually work correctly now. But what I wanted to check was if in this version you could pause and change settings in the game. Let's see, like change the skin. Pretty sure you can. Oh yeah, you can, you can. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Put on grow. Everything feels a, like general performance just does feel a bit worse. But so many things were being added to Osu Laser. But compared just strictly performance wise. Oh God. Storyboards clearly don't work, by the way. In fact, does uh does Solace of Oblivion crash? Oh no, it does work. Okay, that's good. Okay, yeah, okay. So this actually hasn't crashed any of the versions that we've tried. Alright, can I just like play a map? I feel like I haven't really tried that. Default skin, just the map. I mean yeah, this this version kinda sucks to play on <laughs> compared to the current version. Speaking of which, god that was a big lag spike. Okay, let's go wind up on an easier diff of this. Oh, 
Oh, we haven't looked at the, the ranking screen, have we? Certainly looks better than it did in that 2017 version. I missed that ranking screen. Well, I guess this has been the mid-2019 version of OC Laser. I mean, it's not too much else. Story blur with story blurred. <laughs> Storyboard implementation is still not fully there. Videos aren't there. Default skin isn't as good as it currently is. But there's new mods, and skin implementation works a little bit better than it did. I guess we could check the Exarius map too. I haven't looked at that in this one. By the way, what HP drain is this? <laughs> HP zero, yeah? But you still you still drain on an HP zero. I guess because there's no HP drain, that you just never die. Or at least you, you used to not. Yeah, drain was super recent. HP drain was literally implemented like last week. I think all that's really left to look at in this version is the other game modes. Tycho. Still can't play it. It's about, it's about the same. Catch the beat. I think Yuzu is even further down. Can I like see some auto mania? Cause I'm certainly not playing it. Oh, mania has not really changed since the end of 2017. <laughs> Well, I think that's that for every version before the current that we wanted to look at. You can mess around with the screen scaling still in this version. Oh, it's real time now. Oh God, too small. No, I didn't mean to do that. Come back. Are, are there any additional mania scroll speed changes that you can do in laser? Maybe there are now. Oh my God, that just, that is destroying my game. Oh God. 100%. Did, wait, 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 have the SS's always looked like that? Why does that SS have like three images? I guess we're about to see because we're about to go to the current version of OC Laser. Because I think we've seen everything there is to see in mid-2019. See you next time. I'm ready. Look at that new opening, which isn't even that new anymore. Wow, what a step up this is from the previous version. Holy sh**. That parallax. Oh, right, I can log in. I love the current version of OC Laser. And you can see the change log in game. Very beautiful. Yeah, the new menu backgrounds. Performance is so good. They said the Osu Classic skin is a thing now, true. Not just the normal default laser skin, but also Osu Classic. And you can now change the menu background, true. Background source, beat map. I love having the menu background be of whatever the map is that you're playing. And you can see from mid 2019 to this version of the editor, now that there's like the beginnings of the timing panel and you can actually see the hit objects on the waveform and edit things a lot more. Also, you can appear offline. I forgot about that. Do not disturb. And it says choosing a beat map. That's kind of cool. All right, now that we can actually log in, we can see that we can view our profile and all that. You can restore all hidden difficulties, some stuff that wasn't there before, delete all scores. Oh, right, in the editor now too, you can see the map's background. Huge change there. The parallax is like barely noticeable in the editor too. That was a huge annoyance previously. One interesting thing about the editor is that as you're editing the beatmap, when the sliders go over the slider ticks, in Osu Laser, when you miss a slider tick, it turns red. When you have a map open in the editor, it goes over the slider ticks as if you missed them. Thank f***ing God that we can change the pause thing. Hold to confirm activation time? Zero. Are you nuts? Any any poppin' multi-lobby right now? Multi still have, has a long way to go. All right, well, to continue comparing all the versions that we've... This isn't Osu. <laughs> Let's check that default skin. Oh, there's, there's hit error bars now. The follow points I just realized on the default skin are a lot smaller now than they used to be. Oh yeah, HP drain is a thing now. And of course, as we'll see, oh yeah, the ranks are different now, right? The skin implementation is certainly a lot different. All the new mods are here, difficulty adjust, which we've messed around with a bit on stream, but we can mess around with it more today. Traceable, deflate, and just the general ability to adjust the speed of DT, adjust the slowdown, adjust in-game, in-song select, all the variables of the map. Playing like the classic default skin in Osu Laser, I think is a good experience. Let's actually do that next. Oh, wait. <laughs> This custom beatmap skin. No slider ends. You know what? For the sake of us checking out the newest version, difficulty adjust. AR10, or maybe a little bit less. Drain 1, OD9, and wind up. What AR is this now? Won't guess. 
Higher than AR-10. That's AR-9 point- that's like- wait, that's super high AR. <laughs> that's above DT speed on top of AR-9.6. It's been like a week since we messed around with difficulty adjust. It's so great. So here, let's see the uh, skin implementation. I mean, if this isn't clearly the most playable version we've played today, I don't know what to say. This is, I mean, night and day compared to every version we played prior to this. This version is infinitely more playable. And this is the current version. Feels good. The 100s. What is the next thing to look at? So, oh god. Let's check the maps that broke the previous versions first, or that affected them. Hey, look, I was actually on that note. It recovers a lot faster. Let's check this. Speed through the other game modes, and then we're on to just messing around with more mods, and then we'll have compared everything. Unlike the previous versions, this one actually does break a bit more. It's like getting closer to actually being correctly accurate while also breaking the client more. Now, although it looks correct, it doesn't make it through on the current laser client. Exarius's 2B is another one that we've been looking at. That's a quick retry, by the way. Whoa. For some reason, that quick retry. Whoa. Whoa, wait, I didn't even realize that. You know how normally the quick retry, you have to like hold down R or whatever, even in normal Osu? Oh, that's a speedy retry, guy. <laughs> that's really satisfying. <laughs> okay, well, let's check this map and why not check it with a 1.1 speed increase. Let's go 1.11. Okay, this song never ceases to feel like it just goes on and on for me. <laughs> great map, great song, but we're only 60% of the way through. Time to check the other game modes really quick for the comparisons. Just get an idea of if they've changed at all from any of the previous versions. They've basically been the same throughout all of it. Uh, yeah, Tycho looks the same. I mean, there's hit error bars, but other than that, Tycho looks the same. Oh god, I didn't, didn't mean to do that. Yuzu's, I think he's even further down. I think he's even further down than he was in mid-2019. But yeah, other than that, maybe I'm wrong on that, but catch the beat. Basically the same. Mania, also probably about the same. I mean, I can't tell the difference. Actually, it does look a little bit different compared to that 2017 version for sure. I don't know, the objects themselves are white. These hit sounds. All right, well, there's our comparison of the other game modes to the previous versions. They actually do generally look better and obviously perform better than the previous versions of Laser we've looked at. Great, great, great. What mods have been added? Deflate has been added. Traceable has been added. I think those are the main ones. So let's play with both of those really quick. I've enjoyed this. All right, let's play with some Traceable again. I love me some Traceable, it's my favorite new laser mod. Let's actually do this with some adjustments and maybe a wind up. I have beat map hit sounds on, right? Oh, but is it because this map was also imported in a previous version of laser? These hit sounds are right though. Yeah, interesting, none of the key sounding is here. 
got to do like a complete fresh uninstall and reinstall of OC Laser again. God tier accuracy, guys. Before I look at anything else, I need to just completely wipe everything Osu Laser related for my PC really quick. Do a fresh install, fresh skin import, fresh beat map import of the few that we want to look at. Yeah, and also the only reason why I was able to even pass that map, one, I lowered the HP to three, and two, Osu Laser has no note lock right now. So as long as you just mash the streams and your cursor is relatively on top of them, you'll pass every stream related map. It allows me to read traceable, it's true. Look at the eyes of- Oh, I'm hyped now. I forgot how sick the ma the max effects and music look. Damn, it makes you want to have it maxed out. And now we have three maps. The storyboard works on this, right? Did I not fully del- Okay, yeah, the storyboard works. Yeah, this is what this should look like. Ah, it's so nice to see this. So hopefully the video on Octagon works. But yeah, look at the progress of Osu Laser from that initial 2017 release. Overall, looks quite nice. So let's see, do we have the video on this? Yeah, so I did have to completely delete everything. I would play it, but again, we, we've seen pretty much everything there is to see. Can I grab the new Osu tutorial? I, I haven't even played this yet. This is the map we're gonna end on. Osu tutorial and Osu laser, this is sick. So, Os is a game about circles. Wait a minute, wind up, boys. And start off slowed down. So, Os is a game about circles. When the approach circle, touches that... the edge of the inner circle, that's your cue to click it. You can then earn more score by accurately syncing your clicks to the music. Sliders just... build on circle mechanics. The spinner is the simplest object type. Post laser spinner, let's go. That covers the basics of O's gameplay. I don't think his voice is actually speeding up. I think it's only the math that's speeding up. I can always test. So O's is a game about circles. Yeah. When the approach Wait. circle, you can then earn more score by accurately syncing your clicks to the music. It's like the pauses. Yeah, wait. Yeah, voice is storyboarded. So it's missynced. Interesting. Oh, there you go. We've now looked at everything and comparing all the different versions. Feels good. See you next time. Oh yeah, and all the other Osu Laser versions too, the Osu logo when it says see you next time is like a, a white outline and a black background. Now it's the actual Osu logo. And that's the end of our complete comparison of all the versions that we've looked at. Guys, that ended up taking the entirety of the stream and that was a fun time.